Hello and welcome again. This is Robert Shine, Managing Director and Partner of Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Today is Monday, January 11th of 2021, and we have a lot of topics we're going to discuss, what markets are paying attention to, therefore we are too. So let's get through our topics of the day for you. Thanks for watching. So today we're going to talk about Biden's plan. President-elect, Vice President-elect uh, Joe Biden will be sworn into office in just a few short weeks from right now. That being said, there's a lot of uh, conversation within policymakers, Wall Street, as well as Washington, as it relates to what Biden's plan actually will look like. Well, one thing we know for sure, especially now that Georgia is squarely in the Senate seat for the Democrats uh, in wake of Georgia's uh, runoff elections last week, uh, now we sort of have some certainty. We saw Wall Street have a relief rally last week week uh, because now we have certainty on Congress, we have certainty on the presidency on a go forward basis. That being said, all eyes are on the plan itself. Now keep in mind, one of the things I keep talking about, if you followed me, especially last year, I talked about the amount of fiscal spending. Okay, I talk about fiscal and monetary policy, and it's very important as it relates to the economy, uh, the support of jobs, as well as those that are unemployed and the assistance that's needed. Uh, again, that $600 check went out, and now there's talk right now that the $2,000 check will be almost immediate since uh, Congress is in uh, full support of additional stimulus. That being said, let's talk about if we add up all of the COVID relief, the COVID CARES Act, as well as the Biden fiscal policy that's proposed in the next four, uh, few short weeks once Congress reconvenes in their new session. Uh, that being said, the, the total fiscal support, if we project the additional trillion dollars, which is going to include the $2,000 checks per families um, that qualify in that new round, if you add that all together, here's what's really critical to understand. One of the reasons, underpinnings, why the market is doing better than most could have ever predicted, especially last year. And it will be strong going forward, especially the foreseeable future right now, as we see it uh, for 2021. That being said, it's the total fiscal support that if you add that all together, it's just under 25% of the U.S. 2019's GDP, gross domestic product. Why that matters? Think about this. Two thirds of the US economy is driven by consumer spending. Well, first off, you're going to give checks into the hands of the consumer, the US taxpayer, if you will, uh, or, or those that will receive and qualify. And that US consumer will then go out and spend at the local places that are still open to spend money. And that money will make its way back in the economy. Therefore, as I talked about my third topic later on, it's earning season. We're going to think about what the companies uh, are going to project going forward. Uh, let's talk about the S&P 500 and all the publicly traded companies are going to provide earnings, uh, not so much what they, how they did, right, the, the fourth quarter or the fiscal year end in 2020. They'll report how they did in the fourth quarter and how their year ended up with regards to the coronavirus and their earnings and net revenue. However, the most important thing on the earnings season is the go forward sort of um, anticipation of what to expect. So what we see is we want to we're going to join all these earnings calls uh, for all these corporations and listen very clearly as to what they're projecting or what they're forecasting. A lot of companies can't really uh, make too much too many predictions uh, based upon some regulations uh, on a publicly listed traded company. However, keep in mind last year those restrictions were stripped away uh, because the SEC allowed those corporations to provide more guidance versus less. So this earnings seasons, all of these calls in the next you know, a few months, we're going to be listening to very intently as to the earnings, uh, what the CEOs are saying about business going forward, the predictability and the durability of that income stream potentially. But we do know that with the fiscal stimulus and support well on its way, uh, in addition, we're going to see more of that in 2021. Uh, and that's going to provide a backstop and a backdrop, if you will, in terms of uh, all of these corporations having the ability to ultimately, uh, you know, I guess, vie for the attention of the U.S. consumer, if you will. That being said, aside from the Biden's plan, the 2000 checks that will be going out, state and local aid, uh, we're going to see that in all of the bill that's going to, or all the versions of the bills that's going to be proposed. Again, this is not a certainty. It's just part of a campaign promise that has to be passed. But, you know, that being said, we'll see how it plays out. I don't see that that not 
uh, fall, uh, failing, if you will. Uh, state and local aid now will be added in, as well as schools will be added in. Uh, everything they talked about in the campaign will come to fruition because Congress is squarely in the Democrat sort of Biden uh, agenda, if you will. More COVID relief, uh, so rents and job support uh, and all of that, you're gonna see more of that. So what does this all then play into? as we look forward for 2021. Well, I encourage you to join. Uh, we have a several uh, updates, sort of longer Zoom uh, market outlooks. Uh, we have one later this week, uh, as well as one, I'm gonna have one for Blanky Chen Wealth Management, clients, friends, and family in a couple weeks. So look for those announcements. About an hour long Zoom call, we'll take some questions and answers as well. But we'll, we'll get further into unpacking all of this because this is a short video right now. But we're gonna talk about interest rates, right? Where they're gonna head it. The US dollar, the US dollar caught a bid over the last week and ever since uh, the Senate races concluded, the US dollar caught a bid. Uh, potentially for interest rates and a few other things that are all interconnected uh, once the dollar catches a bid because it's been falling uh, all of last year didn't do so well now we're seeing some reverse now is it short-term bounce or is it a trend for the US dollar that would be then supported by interest rates rising we did see interest rates rise since the first of this year so those two trends and why is that because there's more fiscal support out there so keep in mind you have the US economy that was still chugging along even before this time last year Year, we were at all-time highs, low unemployment and all-time highs on everything you could think about. The economy was super strong and super hot coming into 2020 this time last year. Uh, now we had uh, a setback as a coronavirus from economically speaking, but you had fiscal and monetary policy both step up and now there's additional rounds. So there will be impact on the US dollar, there will be impact on the US interest rates as we saw. These are gonna be the themes that are gonna play out over the course of 2021. We're gonna watch them very closely as well as inflation on the rise. Taxation, because of Biden's plan, they already said taxes on wealthy are gonna go up. So that that's gonna be a hot topic. Deficits in spending, that's going up, right? Uh, deficits going up and spending going up, and then the Fed and oil. Those are all themes we're gonna discuss in a greater detail. Oil had a tough year last year. This year going forward, who knows? A new administration could come in. There could be a disruption in the Middle East that could disrupt oil prices, right? Uh, and, and as oil prices are disrupted because of the volatility, uh, and then U.S. less reliance on our own energy independence, right? Policy shift going forward. Oil could see a rise this year. That's uh, possible. And then the Fed. What is the Fed outlook, right? This week the Fed's going to talk, and then they go in their their media blackout period because then they have a Fed meeting later this month. Uh, so let's listen to what the Federal Reserve is going to do, uh, and because they have a direct impact on jobs and interest rates. So. That's a recap today of uh, you know Biden's plan, the U.S. dollar we talked about, as well as corporate earnings are going to be solely in the focus on a go-forward basis. What we're watching, what we're paying attention to here at Blanky Shine Wealth Management. But I appreciate your time today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again next time. And take care and be safe.